Hi everyone, and welcome back to Sloth Gamer. As you can see, I have a ton of retro games. But you know who has more retro games? Or another nice collection, because as you can see... I got a pretty big one. It is a new friend of the channel. And his name is Joel. But he goes by. Get ready for this one. The Last Gamer. Now, I don't want to brag, but I'm the Sloth Gamer. Retro Games. Now, I'm going to let it take over by my good buddy, Joel. And... Here's your shout out. Go over to him and subscribe. Once upon a time, there was an eight year old boy who loved video games so much he wanted to play them all. Then, at the age of 12, he told his mother he wanted to collect them all. That was 32 years ago. Hi, my name is Joel, and welcome to my games room. There are a total of five individual game rooms in this game's house. Let's begin with the modern room and we start off with my Xbox collectibles. Prominently, this is an Xbox One collectible cabinet. It still needs a lot of tweaking, and yep, I need to fill it up. Over here, we have the PlayStation 4 collectible cabinet. My favorites here would be the Resident Evil House and Drake from Uncharted 4, and yes, I love Knack. That Knack poster too was given to me by Sony Japan. I also have priceless collectibles that fans send in, like this skateboard from Robert. This is where I keep all my joy pads for the modern consoles. And I also keep my handhelds here. This used to be our lounge room, and now it's become a shrine for Halo and Gears of War. We're in a modern room, let's check out modern hardware. Three flat screen TVs, two LCDs, and a 65 inch OLED. I absolutely love this TV. This is where I spend my Friday nights with my family. My wife, my son Luke, we have an absolute ball. This area houses everything from Xbox 360 right up to PS4 Pro. Well, in this corner I have my vinyl soundtracks and some laser discs to go with that. I'm a massive Gradius fan, and who doesn't love Street Fighter? I love collecting video game soundtracks. I've got hundreds on CD, and now my obsession has become vinyl. The other thing I have an obsession with is game guides. While we're speaking of books, my magazine collection. I have been collecting magazines for over 30 years, beginning with C plus VG. These days I collect a new magazine, Retro Gamer, a modern magazine about retro games. I'm also very proud to have the full set of Amiga format. However, what I'm most proud of is my Zap64 collection. Every one of these magazines I bought when I was a boy. That concludes this room. 
and brings us on to the next room, the computer room. Okay, so now we're over at the Japanese computers. These are so close to my heart because I grew up with these things and no one else had them. X68000, a monster of a computer. Did you know they used this computer to program Capcom games back in the early 90s? This is one of the most popular Japanese computers of all time, the MSX. This one's a Sony variation, the MSX2. And one of the kings of the Japanese computers the FM Towns, made by Fujitsu. One of the first CD-ROM computers ever. Now, like all good computer rooms, you need a plan. This is Chuck, for all you LucasArts fans out there. Now we'll move on to the Western computers, and this is the Amstrad CPC-464. This is the actual one from my younger years. Then we move over to the ZX Spectrum. I actually never had one of these computers growing up, and boy, do I love it. <laughs> Now we move over to my first love, the Commodore 64. I fell in love with this computer the moment I saw it. I have every single version of the Commodore 64 for my second love, the Commodore Amiga 500. Now back in the day, I was a huge cracker and hacker on the Amiga 500. Let's move on to the library itself. Up here, we're going to start with my Spectrum games. My favorite game on Spectrum would have to be Jetpack. This is my Commodore 64 library. There's thousands of them. Not only is this library functional, but it's actually a replica of a computer shop where I once worked. At the back, there are more Spectrum games, and behind me, PC games. Boy, have I learned to appreciate PC games over the last five years. What was I missing in the 90s? Yep, that's right, I never grew up with PC games. When I was growing up, I actually never owned an original Amiga game, but I'm making up for it now. I've currently got 600. One, two, three, four. All right, enough of this room. Let's head to the big library. Before we head into the library, I want to show you the hallway. We've got the arcade room, the retro room, and the library. So this is a connecting hub, and I have my retro collectibles here. I have so many treasured memories and priceless collectibles. One of my most treasured collectibles is this Yamaha DX7 keyboard. That was actually given to me by Sega. Down this end of the corridor, we've got some PlayStation collectibles, including the 500 million limited edition, one of my absolute favorites would be the Metal Gear Solid 5 console. For more information on collectibles and anything retro, you have to check out Ion Retro. I would be here for weeks if I had to talk about everything in this library. So we'll just do major sections. This is a Sega section. And yes, I do say Sega like that. That's just how Australians say Sega. So I'm going to start off with my prize collection, the full library of Japanese Mega Drive games. And yes, the incredibly rare Tetris. There is heaps to talk about in this section. And being one of my favorite companies, there's a lot of stuff here. Master System, Mark III, SG-1000, Game Gear, Dreamcast, and my full set of Saturn games. I will say there's not a lot of things put up yet and I've made the room future-proof so I don't run out of space. That's happened a lot. This room's actually changed seven or eight times. We have two juggernauts here, the X68000 and the Neo Geo. The X68000 should be in the computer room but I had to have them next to each other because they're so similar. Down this aisle, I have vintage consoles, such as the Intellivision, ColecoVision. They need heaps of work. I've only just begun collecting for those guys. And the Atari 2600. Most of those games are from the late 70s, early 80s. This is my Amiibo collection, and this stuff can get so addictive. 
This hole has the GameCube, Wii and Wii U. We're now moving to the back of the room and the whole back of this room is Nintendo. Super Nintendo, Super Famicom, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance and my beloved NES full set. My Famicom collection needs a lot of work and it's probably my most played Nintendo console. Ending with Nintendo, we have the incredible Nintendo 64. An amazing console that come in so many colors. And yes, I own an Ultra 64. Now with all these games, it's fairly obvious we're going to do game reviews. And one on the agenda, James Bond. I've actually got a prototype version of GoldenEye. My PlayStation 4 collection. Although not the biggest, because new games are so long, I like to finish the game before I buy another one. Otherwise, I just wouldn't finish games. Second to Nintendo, PlayStation would have the biggest footprint in this room. PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2 American. On the far wall, Japanese PS2. An exhausting 20 years to get a full set of PS1 Japanese games and I've just started on PS1 US games. Finally we get to the Xbox. Xbox original Japanese, a full set of Xbox games and Xbox 360, one of my favourite all-time consoles. As I said, it's impossible to go through all the collectibles, the rarities, and all the video games in this library. With owning many complete sets, you have to check out Game Set Complete, where we take an in-depth look at all the games on a particular console and the hidden gems. We are moving over to the Famicom box and the Super Famicom box, two jewels in my collection. These Japanese systems are quite rare and we will have a look at those on Iron Retro. Well, this is over 10 metres of retro consoles, all CRTs. This is my mother's first colour television set. It's a 1979 Rank Arena. It's not working at the moment. We are doing a story about this on Story Mode. One other segment on Last Gamer you must check out. This TV will be running ColecoVision, Atari, Intellivision, and all those pre-1982 consoles. Also, slightly out of chronological order, we have a Bang & Austin TV running a Jaguar, a 3DO, and a Fujitsu Marty. Here we have all the Sega consoles on this beautiful Blancpook TV. Now, as you can probably see, this is running RGB SCART. That's why we've got a clear, crisp picture. And you've just got to dig these exclusive Sega speakers. You'll see them on What's in the Box Japan. Now we move over to the Nintendo section and this has all the major Nintendo consoles, NES Top Loader, Twin Famicom, Super Nintendo NTSC, Super Famicom Japanese, N64 and the N64 DD Drive. Even though there's only a few games on it, I do actually love F-Zero X on the DD. The other two consoles that are here are a PC Engine Duo and a Super Graphics. All the controllers for these consoles are kept in drawers underneath. All right, so now on this beautiful Sony PVM monitor, we are running a PlayStation 1. Underneath that is a Pioneer Laser Active. After PlayStation 1, we now move over to PlayStation 2. Again, another beautiful Sony PVM monitor. This one's slightly bigger. This is a 29 inch. This currently runs a PlayStation 2 and the original Xbox. And the final CRT in this lineup is the Sony Wega. This runs all the consoles that can output component. GameCube, PS3, Xbox 360, and Wii. Now for me, the next step after CRT, well, it was Plasma. And I love my Pioneer Plasma. This is a 508 Alex 1080p screen. And it is probably one of my favorite screens in the whole house. This houses last generation and this generation. The final thing to show you in this room is my simulators. I love these simulators. Force feedback steering wheel, Forza 3 Horizon linked up four players, fun for the whole family. That concludes the retro room and now for the final room, a replica of my childhood arcade. Welcome to Flashback.
Now, isn't that a cool collection? Yep, Joel makes great videos all the time. Go subscribe to him. And this shout out didn't even cost three thousand dollars. It took me four minutes to make. <gasps> Blasphemy. Retro games. If you want to take a closer look at them, you can go to my Patreon. Just kidding, I don't got a Patreon. Red, green Pokemon, yellow, blue, that's broken. Well, it's not broken, but the pieces come apart, so it's taped together. It's been that way since the early 90s, when some of my fans weren't even born yet. Gold, Ninja Turtles, Fall of the Foot Clan. Jurassic Park 1 or 2, Chaos Continues. I didn't even know there was a part 1. Well, the movie, I guess. The Trading Card Pokemon game. Silver. Crystal. Game & Watch 2. Primal Rage. Super Mario Deluxe. Ninja Turtles 2, and my personal favorite, Tetris. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.